Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have here a new journal that I created and it's in this little TN cover. This is my summer stories journal. And so I mentioned, I actually posted about it on Instagram and it's just another one of Nazi's Artist in Bloom journals that I made from taking her course. And I'm dedicating this journal to my summer stories or my summer memory keeping. And so if you remember, I've been keeping a six by eight scrapbook for all of my memory keeping. And I've actually not done anything in that for a very long time but I have been working in my little journals. And so I have my unraveling journal and I have my little bloom journal and they're both in these little artist in bloom journals that I made. So this is the first one that I've ever made and this was my, I'm keeping my, well, I started it for the Get Messy season of bloom. And so it's, this is an art journal and I am not quite finished with it yet. I still have a lot of pages that are either a work in progress or um, that aren't filled up yet. Um, this is my little kit that I have for this one. Um, so I've been working in this as an art journal. And then of course this is my unraveling journal which I have plenty of videos about on my channel. And this is the one that I made at the start of the year. It's a very chunky one that I made at the start of the year for all of that. And so I've been working in this for my unraveling stuff. Um, but I've enjoyed working in this format so much that I started um, like collecting these type of Polaroid photos. Um, I got a new Instax that actually takes these square photos and um, I found that I kind of wanted to put those in my unraveling journal but that's not the point of that particular journal. Um, that journal was more of, of a self-discovery kind of like dump of things that I learned about myself pretty much is what that journal is. It's not really a memory keeping sort of journal, like a place to memory keep. And so I'm just like, I really like this format. I don't know if I want to document those photos in my six by eight album. And so I decided for the summer months that I will do all of that sort of memory keeping in here. So this is going to be um, more of a scrapbook sort of journal than like a junk journal how I've been, or an art journal how I've been keeping the other two. Um, so I made this one, it has, I think, two signatures in it, um, and I actually bound this in a very weird way. I left, like, a really big gap in the middle um, and made the spine bigger because my thing with scrapbooking is I want to use, I use a lot of, like, more layering and more, like, thicker embellishments. Like, I want to be able to use chipboard or, like, puffy stickers or more dimensional pieces in this, too, and not keep it flat and I know me with bound books is that they get really really chunky if you've ever seen any of my little December dailies those babies get real fat really quickly um so yeah I kind of wanted to avoid that and so I kind of spaced out my two signatures to give it a little bit of room but it has this like weird center space there for now and so it's kind of like wonky in this tan cover. I'm actually hopefully going to be changing this cover out because it's a little it's a little short. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and show you a little look at this little little journal. I'm actually going to take it out of the cover here because I feel like how did I how did I even put this in here like <laughs> Okay, I I did it. I did it with the two. So, I got to do one side out. I probably should have did this before I started filming, but you know, hindsight. And then this one out. So all of my little books live in a A6 TN cover. Um, this is one that I made um, with just that um, really cheap leather from Michaels. So this is the first TN that I've ever had in this size. Um, I made it. Um, the other ones, this one is a better quality veg tan leather that I made, and then the other one's a Foxy Fix. I'm currently looking for a A6 Foxy Fix um, in like the spice leather, and so hopefully I can find one that I like um, that's not too expensive, because I know Foxy Fix has gone on a little hiatus. 
Um, but yeah, that's my ideal for this. But so this is the journal, and you can see that it's kind of again a little wonky like because I have all of that space. I just made the spine a little bit wider um, than I would have normally to accommodate for those extra like embellishments. So hopefully that you know I have room to make it that thick basically. You know, um, it's just right now it's fit. It's like sits all kind of wonky so this is my cover here um, I did it the same way that I did the previous ones and I think this is how Nat Nazi does hers in the class I didn't actually rewatch the class for this I just kind of looked at what I did here and then mimicked it um, this piece hers she uses wallpaper um, I for this one I did a fabric kind of piece um, this one this is one of my print I think I know this is a printable tag of mine, but I think I printed this off as like a sheet just for myself. Um, so it is wallpaper. It's just a printable of wallpaper. Put a doily again, that book, book page, and I constructed it kind of the same way as my unraveling journal. So it opens up here. It has this, but it doesn't have that extra um, journal. So like this is the original. It has this little flip, and then it has this extra kind of journal I took that out again um, because I don't really need that a little extra journal it's just that first one I copied Nazi straight from the course um, so I don't prefer that and so I just have this one the belly band one and then the blank page so um, and then I use pretty much the same lace as my favorite lace I have to go and get some more of it um, for the lace here um, change this up put different trims this is um, a piece from the Maggie Holmes garden party garden party collection um, have a snippet roll piece of my snippet roll here for the belly band um, and kind of constructed the same this is again a pocket and then I put one of these planner society uh, clips because all of them all of my other ones have like little clips and I have tons of these planner society ones and the colors of this one in particular matches kind of the color scheme that I'm going with and so for this little book my kind of color scheme theme because all of my books have like a color scheme or theme or something like that is the Maggie Holmes garden party uh, collection uh, I, I used a few of the pages of uh, papers I should say from that garden party collection I kind of wanted to keep this journal very bright very kind of colorful and summery but of course you know my whole pastel and I love that garden party collection so my plan is to use a lot of that and so um, this this is from the ephemera pack, and I think that's going to be like my little introduction thing. I was debating putting I have I have this I don't know where this is from. I think it's from like a page I don't even know it's from something um, for my my little uh, library card. So all of my journals they have that little library card that it, you know it will say summer stories and then the date that I started it. And then, of course, the date that I ended. So I was debating if I wanted to use this because I don't actually have any more of my library cards. i got to print some more. Or I have this uh, Dear Lizzie journaling card that also looks really nice there. And so I was debating, but one of those would be in that pocket. My introduction will be here. And then this is the start of the journal here. And so I use, again, try to keep with that um, garden party color scheme. I have, this is my, one of my favorite papers from the Planner Society. This is a really old January Planner Society kit paper. Um, I, I, I do have extra because I bought extra packs of it, but it's this, it's like the wood, kind of like a driftwood background, but it's light blue with these black hearts and the back is like that floral. Um, I think you, I think I've used this in different projects, but I kind of wanted to get that in because I had a piece. So I just have a little collage here and then of course the fabric page. And then I have this embossed uh, paper here. And then I did use some of Nazi's printables. So I don't know which printable packs these are all from, her wallpaper printables. I will leave a link to her shop. Um, I just backed, I, you know, printed one side and then the other side grid because I want space to write. 
um, music paper, that garden party. So these are the colors. These are the colors that I'm going for for this little book. And so I pulled out, like I have here like scrap pieces of fabric that I've used, that I've included somehow in this. Um, there's a piece of this and further back. And so I kind of want to use these pieces. And so I haven't decided if I wanted to like pre like start pre-decorating some of the pages with the fabric pieces. Um, like I know I kind of wanted to have a page that has one of those little ruffled edges. I haven't done that before, um, but it looks really pretty. And so I kind of want to try that out. Um, I have here some pieces that I pulled out. These are some storyboard print... Uh, I think it's storyboard style board from Maggie Holmes a really old collection that I printed out using AC digitals and then I have these pieces are straight from the garden party ephemera pack which I have right here because I might pull some pieces out again I want to include this little girl this is a card from Seuss Fish and so I already pulled out things that I wanted to use in here like I have a assortment of clips that I made like these little bow clips um, Oh, they were sitting upside down because I had just put glue. Um, but yeah, so these colors, I want these colors to be the main colors of this particular journal. And so I kind of mixed and matched, of course. I have this is another one of Nazi's printables um, and neutral pages like uh, sheet music or just a regular, it's kind of like a cotton uh, handmade paper. I have book pages, another one of that garden party papers, doily, ledger. I printed off some of Seuss pap Seuss's paper um, because I love that yellow. Um, this is a paper from the crystal kit from Felicity Jane because I thought that pink worked really well and the back is just a neutral. It's just a little dot on white. Another doily, book page, that's all. I consider book pages, sheet music, and like regular like papers, like neutral colored papers, just neutrals. And then everything else decorative. It's from Nazi, and then of course some the grid. I really like having the grid um, because again, this is going to be memory keeping, um, sort of kind of like how I keep my travel journals, but like in a little mini format for like multiple events and not just one trip. That's what I'm thinking about of how I'm going to keep this little journal. And so this is the first signature, this is the back of it. And you've noticed, well, I did like a little flip out here, but you've noticed I don't have any pockets in this one, unlike the others. Um, I don't have, I have that little flip out because I realized when I flipped it over, I'm like, oh, that, that'll look cute. Let's just leave it in. I can always like rip it out if I don't like it. Um, but I don't have any pockets like in the signatures themselves. Just because I, didn't want to, pre, I guess, pre-plan or pre-decorate the pages too much because um, then I have to work around that. If I have sort of like a base of just the pa papers themselves, um, it's just easier for me, I think, just a little. But I do have a pocket in the back and I'll show you. Um, so these are basically the same papers. They're just in a different kind of, uh, what is it, organization in like the signature. Some of the Nazi printables are a little bit different. This is the center here. Um, and yeah, this one has like two little flips, but it's basically the same papers. I can get like two sets of the same paper because this is an A6 size. So that's the little, journal. I think this paper is the only thing that's different, this little mint handmade paper. Um, and then here, in the originals, it this extended further, but my idea was to use this somehow. I'm sorry, I'm making a mess. But I have this blue fabric that I wanted it to either make it a page here, I haven't decided, or if I wanted to make it a flip, but I think I'm leaning towards making this a page because this would look so nice as as like a page itself next to this and then this will obviously be sewn onto that and then this will be the back which is some of that garden party paper and this is what I'm talking about so in the class she has us do like the, this these little fabric swatches and so I try to use swatches that match the colors 
Um, so I love this. This really matched the colors and then these papers, um, not papers, these fabrics. And so I have pieces of these fabrics that I kind of want to use and incorporate it into the journal. So this is the only pocket I have. And right now I have some palette card, one of Nazi's printables in here. More of that um, embossed paper. I actually embossed one of the handmade papers with this. It came out really pretty. Um, another printable of mine and then more collage, and then some of that garden party paper. And then the spine, actually, that's where I used this lace, and I layered the lace on top of this fabric because um, with it muted, it looks like it looks like it matches the, the thing. And so, oh, and then I have uh, an assortment of charms, and so I always take the end strings, I don't clip them, I just, oops, this one is stuck to that. Um, I just make little charms out of them. And so I have tons, tons of beads and charm and dingly thingies. I used to make jewelry and so I have tons of it. And so I have these guys hanging off here. And then on the other side, the other signature I have, I have these. So this is, that's one of the Maggie Holmes. I don't know if we can focus one of the Maggie Holmes um, charms there and then I have all of the paper clip charms so I have this one and I have the swan and so this is from I think Marigold's Marigold, Marigold collection and then another one that I made here and then this one has a little Tim Holtz um, charm and this one says just one life and so all of these little books I've been giving them a charm so like this is my bloom book and it says noted I think I might switch this out because I think I was using this for something else and I think I might want something more geared towards the bloom theme but like my unraveling journal I have one that says found I don't know if you can see it I don't know if we can see it but this one says found, and um, that's because unraveling is all about coming undone, but then discovering things about yourself. And so I like that idea of found. This one is, again, my summer stories. I'm keeping summer stories, and so memory keeping. And so I thought just one life was a really good um, it's a really good tag to put here. So all of them have little tags that come out of the bottom that kind of encompasses the theme, the overall theme of the journal. And so that is the construction of this journal. What I am planning to do is kind of, not again, not pre-decorate, but I do want to put some of these clips in different sections. Um, I might not use all of them because, you know, four or five is a little too much, but I have those. I have some butterfly clips, I have a bigger one, and then this little tiny one. I have some of these Planner Society clips that are like flowers and, um, what do these are? Dragonflies. I kind of want to clip them in, um, maybe with some ephemera on the side on pages. And I have this whole stack of stuff, so more of the garden party. I have some Planner Society things that I kind of want to use because they're very bright and very like summery and very cute. Um, I have these these clips from the garden party that I would like to utilize as well. Um, what I did the other day was I actually took a bunch of stamps that I have and stamped them on white cardstock and fussy cut them and so I have all of these little stamped fussy cut cut things a lot of these are from Maggie Holmes um stamp set so I have the ones from Marigold Garden Party um this is a, a pink paisley one I have a couple of Planner Society girls and so I've stamped the Planner Society girls I actually have one Felicity Jane girl little willow she was my favorite um so i stamped her out too and then i have these stamps from I th oh my god craft consort craft consortium i think that's what the brand is i think it's a british brand um but i have these like floral stamps and so i've stamped them a little mushroom um 
so I've stamped them out to use and how I use these um, I use them as ephemera and you can keep them as black and white or like how I do it in my art journal I will take color pencils let's see I know there's one over here I would take color pencil and like color in places or um, if you use stays on you can use um oh my god what's it called you can use watercolor so like here is another example I left that one black and white and then I think I have one have one here that I colored in and then I think in the so I you know a book that's a butterfly that's again utilizing the same thing I left this one black and white um, I colored this one in and so I really liked those florals um, because I am gonna start mine in May I think I think a lot of my photos here are from late April and, and May and so I decided you know what let's just begin the actual journal and like like start documenting those things and so you know we're still in spring and so I really liked the really liked the florals and then just some plans that I have hopefully for the, the summer months is to you know to go to floral like flower fields and stuff like that and so I thought having a lot of floral motifs would be nice but this is really cool so if you have a bunch of stamps like I bought a bunch of I bought I think two new stamp sets um, from Tim Holtz um, this one is just like words but this one has like all of these little icons and um, this one has more butterflies and bugs and stuff so I can take that out oh it's like attached to this yes it is but it's like like bugs like I would just take my stays on and some white card and just stamp them um, and then fussy cut them out and use them as ephemera. So if you have any cool stamp sets like that, that you, you know, if you're like me and don't stamp, like I, a terrible stamper, so I would never just stamp something directly into my journal. I always have to like stamp it somewhere else and fussy cut it. Um, it's a great way to make some ephemera that you can then go in and color. And so I have a little thing here. So what I'm doing is sort of building up my my little kit for this journal. And so like I showed you that that little pouch in my art journal. That's sort of the kit. So that's the these are pieces that I pull from when I'm doing an art journal page. My unraveling journal has a larger kit. It's actually in a bigger Ziploc bag. Um, this is my unraveling journal stuff so this is what I will pull out when I want to work in that journal and that's just to keep everything themed um, because you know me I like I like having all of my little mini books and journals and scrapbooks to be themed whether it's got the color or um, the motifs I mean I, generally I go for the same motifs florals florals and more florals um, but like this one, I kind of want to put like the florals, but then bugs and like mushrooms and like more of nature sort of thing. And then of course I want to use that garden party collection. So I would stick to the garden party colors and like pull things from my stash that match those colors. And so this is probably what I will sit down and do at some point is kind of put together a little kit. And I have a baggie here. Most of this stuff is from Daphne's Diary. I do have a little, I have the Megan, um, the Felicity Jane Megan digital. And so I printed her because she's carrying a little basket of flowers. Um, but most of this stuff is from a Daphne's Diary magazine. And I pulled out a lot of that because that's sort of the feel that I'm going for. is like a very like bright garden type feel. And so... I pulled out like a lot of these sort of papers to to put in here and then of course I have some neutrals which are book pages and ledger pages and then more of those Felicity Felicity Jane more of those Daphne's diary so many names Daphne's diary pages that I kind of want to use like I want to use this to say hello summer in my book somewhere because this is documenting those summer stories and then I have some wallpaper 
samples here that are also bright and in kind of those colors. And I was thinking since these are so big and I would love to use them, I was thinking maybe I can just scan them, shrink them down and print them out so that I can use the florals because these are like ginormous florals. Like, but they're very pretty and in those colors. And so that's what I have here. And I, I wanna sl like slim this down a little bit um, and just get it into like a more compact um, kit. Um, a lot, again, I have a lot of fabric stuff. Like this stuff that I wanna do, like those, I don't even know how to do it. Um, those little um, kind of ruffled, ruffled edges. I don't know, I, I would have to sit at my sewing machine and do that. Um, I'm gonna try with this. Um, this piece here I, I wanna put in as a little flip up so that I might pre-do as well. And this I might make into a page. So this is all like sitting at my, my sewing machine and getting that done. These pieces are just pieces that I have that are little that I can just add in while I'm working on a particular um, spread, a particular page. And so that's gonna be included in my kit. Um, this is probably gonna be another ruffle. So I have that here along with those ephemera bits and like the photos that I wanna use. I have more photos. They're just in like a little a little tub. I have a bunch of ephemera, so I have a lot of my um, Whispers of Wonder kit, but I don't think these colors go very well. And so I have to look through my Whispers of Wonder stuff that I pulled out here um, and see. They're a little bit more pastel and a little bit more muted. I might actually use the bunny. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, but these, these I kind of want to use. These are from I want to say I'm a mind's eye, my mind's eye collection. I don't remember. I want to use Lovely and I want to use Bun. I love the script there. This is a beautiful floor I want to put somewhere. And then I have two like swans. I might go for the small, smaller one because this one is kind of huge and it'll take up like the entire page. Um, because my guy, we went to his dad's house in Connecticut and there's this lake behind the house and there were swans. There were swans swimming in that lake. I guess they mate in like this area of the lake, and I saw one, so I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna do some documenting with that. Um, and so that's why I pulled out that little swan piece. So little things like that. I'm gonna go through my stash and just kind of pull out things that I think would work well here. Um, the whole point is to get into my stash, <laughs> but yeah. So that is this project. That is this little journal. I'm hoping to get back into the whole journal with me thing. Yes, because I don't have any time to do that, but I like want to do it. Um, that's how life is, isn't it? Like you want to do something, but you don't have the time. I will make the time somehow, making the time, like I'm making the time to film this video because I really don't have time to film videos, let alone like edit the video. Oh my goodness. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully I'm hoping that I can you know, I have to be mindful that when I sit down to actually journal in this little book that I just turn on the camera and just have it rolling because voiceovers are fine. I can speed it up. Voiceovers, they're, they're good. <laughs> as long as, you know, I want to share the process, you know, um, because I am kind of shifting my scrapbooking more towards a hybrid journal scrapbook. Um, I've been wanting to do it for years, for ages but like for some reason when I want to memory keep I, I always go back to, to like the scrapbook to like pocket pages um, in a smaller scale because sometimes I feel good about doing like 12 by 12 but I like smaller projects like smaller scrapbooks and just I, I don't know why I keep going back to that I'm like oh I it's like kind of like I have to separate scrapbooking from journaling when that's not the case I can use the journal like a scrapbook and kind of mesh my two things like I guess my two worlds together the whole art journaling junk journaling thing which I kind of put together I think art journaling junk journaling go hand in hand where scrapbooking is a completely separate thing in my brain that's how that works but I think moving forward I kind of want to merge the two so that I don't feel so torn um, and so hopefully I'm going to try this out this summer and see if this works and if it does that is probably my plan for next year's memory keeping anyway 
that's like a long spiel about that. I just wanted to come on and give you a look at this, this little book, how I'm going to use it, and all the jazz. I really hope you enjoyed this little chatty video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!